welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a prom makeup look. I'm going to do, this one's going to be really smoky and really bold. I plan on doing a couple different ones. I want to do one that's um, more soft and natural looking and then this one is going to be really bold and edgy, really dark and smoky so you can kind of choose which way you want to go. If you want to see how to get a really nice dark smoky look, just keep watching. Okay, so start this look, what you want to do, and I'm working with the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette and I've already primed my lid. So I'm going to start by taking my brush like this and take just the bisque color, it's just as it sounds, and running it all over my whole lid so that it makes blending a lot easier because with this look we're going to be blending a lot. Now what I'm going to do is take that fluffy brush, this one, and go into this melon color and run that above the crease and up to the eyebrow. After that, take a brush that's a little bit smaller and we're going into tangerine, which is pretty much a bright orange, and concentrating that more so in the crease. And since we're using a black shadow with this look, using warm colors like this makes it a lot more wearable and makes it look like you didn't get punched in the eye. <laughs> Just warms up the look a lot. After that, take a black liner and we're going to put that all over the lid. Going no higher than the crease. And I'm taking a flat shadow brush and dipping into a black eyeshadow and packing that all over the lid. Okay, sorry if I was out of focus a little bit there. I'm trying to get a little closer to the camera, so hopefully this is better. So now we have that black eyeshadow on. I'm taking another crease brush and going in with Saddle. It's just a dark brown. And that's what we're using to blend these colors together. So what we're gonna end up doing is just go back and forth, back and forth to get a good blend. I saw this look, Kathleen Lights did this look. She did like two looks with one palette and this was kind of one of them. I'm doing something similar to that. Different palette. So now I'm going back with my brush that I use for tangerine and putting that on top, just re-layering all those colors, working from darkest to lightest. Taking my biggest fluffy brush and the melon color and using that on the way top. And then we'll go back with the same brush we use with the black and pack that back on because you can tell it faded a little bit from all the blending we were doing. And I haven't done any of my skin or concealer yet because I knew working with black shadow I would get fall down. So I'm just going to wait. And since I have hooded lids I am taking mine above the crease just a little bit because I know that when my eyes are open it's going to crease up there anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Taking my brush with saddle, the brown color and very lightly blending it back out. There, I'm pretty happy with that blend. And I know it looks crazy now, don't be scared. This is a look that comes together at the very end. So right now it might look like you got punched in the eye, but I promise it gets better. I'm gonna take my wipe and just clean up underneath. So one thing I forgot to do when I was zoomed in is line my upper waterline and lower waterline, so I'm gonna do that now. Now I'm going to work on my face before I can do the lower lash line, so I'll go in with erase paste. And with a look this dark, you really want to make sure your under eye circles are concealed because it just draws so much attention to it, how dark it is. There, so now we'll move on to foundation. And I'm using my Clinique Beyond Perfecting again. I think this would be a good foundation for going to prom because it's nice and full coverage. And I don't think it has any SPF in it, which is good because SPF, the higher the SPF, the more flashback. Flashback is when you take a photo with flash and your face looks white. You've probably all seen it and maybe not known that's why. But especially if you're going to prom or if you're going out, there's lots of photos with flash because it's nighttime and you'll look like a ghost if you use something with flashback. So I would recommend, you know, practicing your makeup and then taking a photo with your phone with the flash on to see if you turn white. I already did my eyebrows, I used the Anastasia Browes, but I'm thinking they might need to be a little darker too, so I might go over those with some eyeshadow too. Now I'll go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind. And 
since you're gonna want this to last all day, set your whole face really, really good. And I'm actually gonna use my Laura Mercier setting powder. This is what I use to set like under my bake here, but I'm gonna use it all over on a big fluffy brush too. So for bronzer, I'm using Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. It looks like this. It looks a lot darker, and it's it's kind of a weird texture. It's not super powdery, so you won't get that look. So after that, I'll go in and bake underneath my bronzer. So now we're going to start working with our under eyes again. I'll start with the melon color and then I'll do the tangerine color on top of it just to smoke it all out. So now I'll take a little definer brush and dip into the black and I'm just going to stamp underneath my lash line but I don't want to go all the way in, just the outer probably fourth. So now what we're going to do is move into a highlighter. I'm taking my Champagne Pop highlighter, it looks like this. Put that right on the cheekbones. I like putting it above my brows too. And down the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. For blush, I'm using a Too Faced blush. And I'm using I Will Always Love You. And I'm just gonna stamp that right in between those two colors. So my camera shut off, but I just highlighted my inner corner, my brow bone, and then I touched up my brows a little bit. They got covered up with, you know, foundation and concealer and all that stuff. To complete the under eye, this is really good. This is the Urban Decay Glitter in Baked, the heavy metal glitter. And I'm gonna put that under my tear duct. And you might have to do a few coats of that to get it nice and opaque looking. So it would look awesome if you were wearing a black dress, a gold dress, and you could substitute this glitter too for a color. You know, if you were, like say you had a teal dress, if you did teal glitter, that would be so cool. Now I'm gonna get mascara and I'm doing false lashes with this look, so you don't have to go really crazy, just coat them so that they'll blend. Oh, and two, I wanted to tell you guys, I've gotten a few requests for the husband does my makeup challenge or whatever it's called, and Nate would totally do it, but I said we can't do it until I have more subscribers. So I think if I have, let's say 100, when I have 100 subscribers, then we'll do it. While my mascara is drying, I'm going to put glue on my lashes. These are Violet Boss lashes in uh, style vamp, Vamptress. Now the trick with false lashes is you want to put the glue on, but wait a really long time. Like at least 30 seconds, if not more. And I, these are really a thick band, so I do this to try and loosen them up a little bit so they fit on my eye better. So wait until the glue gets really, really tacky before you put them on. I usually just use duo glue, but I couldn't find it, so I had a set of Eyelure lashes with the glue already in it, <laughs> so I'm just using those. Lashes really do make me nervous. I can do them on other people, no problem. On myself, it's a whole different story. And also, I feel like lashes are really uncomfortable on me too, so I usually don't wear them. I know like our Dell Wispy lashes are a lot more comfortable. These are gonna be really heavy, so you'll definitely notice them. And sometimes you can tell too, like when the glue starts changing color, then you can put them on your eye. And they won't wiggle around so much, they'll just stick. You know, that's kind of the problem when it's too wet, they keep moving around and it's just kind of a mess. I usually don't wear false lashes, but a look like this I think kind of calls for them. You just kind of press them on to make sure they're on there good. These actually are a little bit too small for my eye. They don't go all the way to my inner corner, but I find lashes way more comfortable when they're not all the way in because then when you blink, you can feel the lead, the edge of it. Yeah, so these fit really, these fit good to my eye, but if they were too long, hold them up to your eye first and then trim them. Cut, always cut from the outer, not the inner edge. There we go. And I'll brush away this bake. So now for the last part is, I don't know if you've heard of lip scents before, but it's the lipstick that's supposed to last all day. I don't sell it or anything, I just I just got it for the first time yesterday and I tried it. And like, it lasted a long time. I ate and it was fine, but then I was working and I talk a lot when I work. And so it was, it was rubbed off around the middle, the outside stayed good. 
Um, but you're not supposed to use any other kinds of chapstick or anything, and my lips were really dry. But they say your lips are supposed to detox, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not selling it. I don't know, but I'm just telling you what I know. But it would be good for prom or like a wedding or something to where it's, it lasts a long time. Even if you do have to touch it up once, like that's better than all the time, so. But you're not supposed to have anything on your lips when you put them on. And you're not supposed to use chapstick. You're supposed to use like the gloss it comes with. And I bought the matte like topper, but she gave me some glossy ones to try. And with this look, I definitely think we need a glossy lip for sure. This is the color First Love. And you're supposed to do like a coat and let it dry. And you can do like three coats, I think, up to three coats. And you're supposed to put it on in like one coat, you know, but that's impossible. Apparently, I can't talk when I do this. It's really sticky when it's not dry. And then to seal it, you put on the um, glossy or the matte, but today I'm going to use glossy. I can do a review on these too if you'd like me to like do an all day thing and tell you what I think. And to finish, you definitely want to use a setting spray. Okay, so just when you thought I was done. I love glitter, so we're gonna do a little bit of glitter on top. You can leave it like this, but I just wanna see what it looks like. This is, it's black glitter, so it's called licorice. It's eye candy, that's where you get it from. You can get it online, I think you can even buy it off Amazon. It's such a mess, you guys, it is so messy. This is just so bad, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna do a fluffy brush, because I want kind of more of a, a, like, just a wash of glitter. I don't want it to be real intense. So you need a glitter glue, this is just my Lime Crime glitter glue. And we'll tap this on. You guys, I'm just asking for a disaster here. Like, seriously. This is probably gonna take off all my black shadow. Taking the brush, dipping it into the glitter. It's, it's really not that. It's pretty subtle. So here's the finished look with glitter. I did have some fallout, so if you have that problem, just take your fluffy brush and brush it away really fast in an upward motion and it kind of gets rid of it. You'll still have a little bit because it's glitter, but it's better than nothing. What do you think? Hmm? What do you guys think? Hmm. Lots of glitter. Lots of eyelashes. You don't like them? Do you always have eyelashes that strong? What do you, would it be a good prom look? Oh yeah. That's what it's for. Yeah, yeah it's great. Tell them what you do here with that brush. How do you like to do it? Just like that. It's so good. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. This, this so lipstick, lipstick is cool though. Look. Nothing. That's kind of cool.